Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I wanted to show some little canvases I've been making. I've seen videos all over the place on YouTube. Um, these are just the Michaels 6x8 canvases. Um, you know, they're the just canvas board. And I just used some gelatos, made backgrounds, and then stamped. I have like a series of the Julie Nutting stamps and then a series of stamp boutique and I'll be doing some more. I'm getting things ready for a craft a vintage sale coming up and then a craft boutique in November. Um, so this is the most of the sentiment stamps I used are from Unity and like with this I um, stamped her but then I also took a pit pen and outlined her whole um, body just because it was this got pretty dark and it took away from her. Then I just added some, I think these are from Sassafras Lass. And then I also outlined the, or went over I should say, the sentiment and then colored in the um, flowers with some watercolor markers that I got at Michael's. Um, they're, they're okay to use. Uh, I could only use a few of the colors because otherwise they were too dark. Then I just added some vintage calico, or eyelet lace that I found at a flea market a couple weeks ago and then covered the back with some okay here's my here's me I went through some of my paper my single sheet 12 by 12 paper pulled some out to put in a D stash sale that I'm gonna have and kept half like I have all this old Prima paper watercolor rainbow I think it was or something and um, raspberry what you call it or strawberry something Anyways, all these old lines, I took half, put in the D stash, and then kept half in my paper rack. So I thought, oh, I'll use some of that Prima. So what did I do? I go to the D stash pile and pull it out instead of going to the rack that I was going to use. And it's just like, you know, duh, just use what you have. So anyways, I'll be filling the D stash pile again. Um, so anyways, I, I just cut the backs out, decoupaged them on. I didn't decoupage the top. And then for the um, the hanging thing, I was going to do ribbon, and then I went to Michael's, and they have some of those 3M Velcro things, and they're like 11 bucks for a pack. And because I want to sell these, I don't want to try to, I don't want to put too much money into it, you know, because then you're going to have to jack up the price, and I like to sell stuff to sell. So um, I just made this up on my own. I just took a strip of 4x2 paper and then I scored it every inch and then just folded it and decoupaged it down and it's on there for good. And then I just cornered the corners, you know, I had it all folded up like a W and cornered both corners up here and punched a hole with my crocodile, crocodile, crop a dial and that will hang on a nail. So that's the first one, and here's another. I'm just going to go show them all now. Um, again, this one I outlined some of it. I don't know if you can see. I'm using my flip, so I don't know how close I can get. And then this is, um, these are some old wild, um, what was it? Saffron, wild saffron. I love that. And then the paper, I can't remember what the paper was. I think that's crepe paper. And I just fussy cut it a little bit, not real fussy, and then put these Wild Saffron Cane Company dealies on there. And then I've got a fix, for some reason, this is the Tim Holtz Distress Sickles Fire Brick. For some reason, it was all nice and thick, and then that just kind of disappeared somehow. But I love that saying, it's Mother Teresa. Okay, then here's another one. You are as happy as you choose to be. And this one I kind of added some other stamping. Again, this is, um, I believe that's crepe paper, and this is K and Company. I don't remember if it's Flora and Fauna, but it's like just a border strip, three dimensional. This one is, I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it. I kind of got practicing on it after. Like, I wanted to practice with the markers I bought with some stickle and just, you know, stamping. So, 
this might just be my, I don't know if I'll sell it or not. And this is a Tim Holtz cool stamp. And here's another one. More crate paper. Just be you. Again, Unity stamp. This is a dollar stamp. I think I got it from Finesse. Thank you, Finesse. And these are, um, these, Natasha sent me these little embellishments, I think from her dollar store. And then again, I just put backings. I love this stamp. This is, again, Unity. Isn't that cute? And again, some more dollar store stickers. And I didn't do all the hair on it. Well, I guess I did. Never mind. Never mind. The secret to ha having it all is believing you already do. These are from Crate Paper. Crate, crate Paper. Some chipboard that I've had. I love this background. Very pretty. I think she's my favorite stamp too. And then last, no, not last. Never mind. Okay, and again, this is some more. This is a Tim Holtz stamp back here that I cut out. And then this is another Can Company border, pretty, and some more. I believe it's crepe paper. Okay. And here's the last one. I think I like this one the best. It's I used just kind of a gray and um, orange and light blue gelato. But I think the background turned out pretty. Kind of almost misty morning. And these, are, again, are chipboard pieces from my crepe paper. It's like a big 12 by 12. And then... I can't go too close. Good friends are like stars. You don't always see them, but you know they're always there. And then I think I might put a little, um, I gotta do her hat, her crown, and then I'll probably do a little stickles or something on the star. Okay, but then, these are my stamp boutique ones, and I think they are so adorable. <gasps> I might say so myself. These are so cute. For these, I used Sassafras last. Again, I went to the D-stash pile instead of what I kept. Like a little, oh, that's crazy. But then I added, um, on the Julie Nutting, I put the eyelid on all of them. And then on the Stamp Boutique, I used Rick Rack. And then this is some vintage ribbon that I got at the flea market. And these, these are Stamp Boutique. And that, again, is Unity. Cute. Wouldn't that be cute for a crafter? And then... Again, oh, that's um, Inka Dinka Do, I think, the stamp. And then all three of those stamps are uh, Stamp Boutique. Fun. And I just used the Jenny Bolin Punch and some old buttons. Again, the Rick Rack. How cute is he? And then these are Sassafras stickers with some. And then I just used little stickers. Um, sassafras border and some really nice uh, baker's twine. And I might put a little stickles on his heart. Here is this little girl. I think she's my favorite. She's cute. Choose Joy. Again, some sassafras stickers, buttons, glitter, or flower embellishment, and then just sassafras border on top. And that stamp is from the, the Inka Dinka Deuce set I have has all these little, it's a clear set. And then again I covered the backs with um, sassafras. And here's her. Isn't that cute? So I think these will sell pretty easily because they're pretty cute and they're just, um, you know, all you need is a nail to put it up on the wall. So, um, there's all my little kids for my... And they were so easy and fun. They really are fun to do. Um, the gelatos is really easy. You just, you know, put some color on there. And then what I did, some, I've noticed, rub it with their fingers. You can either do that, but I just took a paintbrush, 
with just a little bit of water and just kind of watercolored it all over. Watercolored it all over. <laughs> so, and then to glue everything on, I used um, gel medium. So nothing is going to come off. And again, like I said, I Mod Podged the papers on and they are there to stay. So thanks for watching. Try it. It's fun. Bye.